Disectomy is a surgical procedure that we use to remove the herniated disc which has compressed uh, to the nerve root, especially in the, uh, in the lumbar spine and the cervical spine. So a minimal invasive disectomy is a method that we utilize some special instrument and equipment you know, in order to make a small incision through the skin and uh, to achieve the goal of minimal tissue injury that we can also reach the same target and do the and take out the, uh, the herniated disc as the conventional method. A conventional method of discectomy is actually we have to make a huge incision and we can dissect the muscle away uh, so that we can expose the problematic area. So by doing that, okay, uh, the wound will be big and then the patient will be a lot of pain. So the minimal invasive way is actually that we only have to utilize about one-fifth of the uh, surgical incision while we can achieve the same goals as, as the conventional way. Minimal invasive discectomy has actually five key benefits uh, if compared with the conventional way of uh, doing things. Firstly, uh, we can make a smaller incision. Uh, because of the smaller incision, we can cause less trauma to the muscles. Okay, because of the less trauma to the muscle, we can have less post-operative pain. Because of the less pain after the operation, the patient is not expected to stay much longer. So, and because of the shorter hospital stay, then it's less costly if compared with the conventional way. Minimal invasive discectomy is not only beneficial for the young age group. In fact, for the elderly, it actually uh, helping much more than the conventional way. It's, it's because you know when we do the minimal invasive way, we not going we are not going to destabilize the spinal structures as we are not moving that much of the bony structure. We are not dissecting the muscular structures uh, away that much. So. In most of the case with the minimal invasive surgery, we do not require uh, instrumentation as the conventional way. So this is actually uh, a good uh, point for those elderly with osteoporosis problem.